Alright, you're all here probably because you want to, you know, level up fast. And the first thing you want to do is go to the bounty guy. And just get all the bounties you can because each bounty is about 2,500 XP. That is half a level, and that's a lot, considering there's only 40 levels in Destiny. Uh, unless they're gonna up the levels in the new DLC, which I'm honestly really looking forward to. Because... I, I'm kind of, you know, mastered the whole game. I got, like, three characters to pass 300 light pretty fast. And then, you know, got high ones, deleted it. And now I'm making a new character. Because I love Destiny. So, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just go into a control match after I just delete some stuff. And after you do a story mode, just get all the story done. And then once you're sick of a story, go into Crucible. Because, you know, there's two parts to this game. There's PvE and PvP. Don't just stick to one. If you stick to one, you're going to be, you know, not... No, you aren't going to be getting the most points. If you're doing Crucible and the story, then you're just going to get a lot more XP. That's a lot more bounties. And let me just get the Sniper. There we go. So... What you want to do is just go for, you know, go with the weapon you're most comfortable with for Crucible. For me, I'm very comfortable with my 1000 yard stare because that's just what I use a lot. And I'm comfortable with shotguns. And sadly, the, the gameplay in this video is not a shotgun gameplay because it's a large map. It's a very large sized map, so I go with a sniper. There's a lot of choke points and, you know, it's good. But that's what you want to do. Go for weapons you're comfortable with. That's the biggest thing I can do you now to give you advice for leveling up. You see, I was, you know, doing the zone assault in this gameplay and I was, you know, getting a lot of headshots while capturing it. And that's a lot of XP. All of those points are XP. And, you know, it may not seem much, but it adds up fast. Depends how good you are in a crucible. And how good you are versus players. You know, if you get 5 kills in Crucible. Versus like 30 or 40 kills in a game. It's going to depend on, you know, how much XP you're going to get. So, just practice a lot. And do more than one thing. For example, if you aren't good in Crucible. Go do, you know, PvE. A little bit more than Crucible. If you're good in both, do both. If you don't like one game mode. Ooh. I got a merciless. Damn. Anyway, and you see, I got a mission done. And this was all in less than a minute. <laughs> well, maybe less than two minutes. And I love the bad effect. But anyway, what you want to do is just get all of the, you know, go for heavies a lot in Crucible because that's going to get you a lot, you know, easier to get kills if you have a sword. And you're in a you know small closed map. It's gonna be easy to get the kills because all you gotta do is just one hit them. That's all the heavy thing is. And what you gotta do is you know just play the game, do the story mode. That's gonna get you you know in about ten hours. That's gonna get you most of the story done. Ten hours for me was like seven or eight. And just run through it, cruise through that, and just gonna do Crucible after you finish your story, because there really isn't much to do before you hit level 40. No, there isn't really many raids you can do that give a ton of XP. Um, no, at low levels. So just go for, you know, once you hit level like 20 something, you can do strikes. And I'm gonna do some gameplay of a strike. You know, after this, and after you do the strikes, go do, you know, 
you're going to have a couple bounties done after you do a strike because there's a lot of uh, bosses there, you know, majors, and there's a lot of bounties. There's like two or three, well, at least two bounties within 24 hours for the hive majors. You know, defeat the 10 Cabal majors or 10 hive majors or ultras, and that's going to be pretty good because after that, you know, that's 2,500 XP, and then think about it. That's, you know, half a level. Then after you get half the level, there's going to be, you know, XP from the mission story or from the Crucible while, you know, while you're trying to go for the challenge. So for me, it honestly wasn't that difficult because I've been playing Destiny for a very long time and I've been playing Black Ops for a long time. So control is kind of a given for me. You know, control, dom, you know, domination. And here I get a triple, which is why I always say use a warlock, because look at this. This is just destruction. Go behind a guy that was already, you know, using his warlock, Stormcaller, and I got three or four missions done in just this game. And we, you know, we got a team win, so that's a lot more XP for us. Anyway, that's an easy way of how you can get XP in Crucible, and now let's go into how we can get a lot of XP in the story mode. This is just a boss, and I have the sound on, so this is going to be a bit harder. But this is what you want to do. Just go for the yellow parts of the, you know, of the you know, monster, or boss, and look at the XP. Look how much XP we're going to get. Now, come on. And... Let the mission finish. We're back on Mars. Now, to my sexy dance. Dance. To the traveler. And... The speaker is calling us 4,000 something XP. That was half a level. And, yeah, it's just that simple. Just go for the yellow parts of the monsters, you know, get the more critical hits. Use snipers a lot, because, you know, headshots with snipers, you know, versus monsters is a ton of XP. And that's how you level up fast. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, you know, if this actually helped you. Peace.